is for the believing mothers or the believing mothers to be because you believe that God exists. You believe that this word were inspired by the Holy Spirit. You believe that the word is alive and active. You believe that the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and that word is Jesus. Yet you choose or rather still you choose to use this pin as your defender and as your protector when you are expecting a child instead of going back to believing the word that God has given you that he will be your defender. Good morning. I hope you can see me. Um, I just want to quickly make this short video. I'm still going to be fast, hopefully. Um, this video is about pregnant ladies. Believing pregnant ladies. Believing pregnant women. I'm going to say it again. Believing pregnant women. I'm talking about pregnant women that are believers. For you to be a believer, it means you believe in someone or something. For you to be a believer, you believe in God, right? For you to believe in God, it means you know that God exists. The commandment says you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. That commandment is not saying that God is forcing you to love him. It's not a mandate that God is giving us. That commandment is just a predestined information that once you get to know God, it is a guarantee, it's a certainty that you will love him. That's what that verse is saying. So some of us, I just thought to push it there that some of us would think that God is forcing people to love him. That is not what the commandment is. Commandment, if you look, if you if you look into command, commandment means um an ordained, an ordained um an ordained um information. That's what commandment is. If you look in, it means that it has been ordained. So that means that once you get to know God, it is ordained that you build love him. That's what it means that you must love him is the certainty. That what that verse is. So where I'm driving at is, for you to be a believer, you know God exists. You know the word. At least you're familiar with the word. And we all know that the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. That word is Jesus. The word is alive. The word is not just a piece of information that is written on a paper for you to read or cram to use whenever there is a problem as or just as a weapon. Before you can use a weapon, you have to master the weapon, right? If you are going for war and you need to fight the enemy, probably you need to use a knife, you need to use a dagger. You need to practice how to use a dagger before you go for war. It's just the same thing with the word. The word is not just like, okay, I'm going to use this scenario. When I, this scenario, when I was writing exams in school, I always read to pass. I never, I wasn't the type that would read to learn. So I was a good a crammer. I would cram. Oh, I would cram. I cram a lot. And that's because I was reading this information for a purpose, just because I wanted to pass. Well, this word is not just for you to read. And when there is a problem, oh, then you begin to say it. Oh, yes. You read this word to know this word, to identify with the word, and to believe that this word is alive. And let the word breathe life into you because the word is life. This word that you're reading is Jesus. For the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The word is Jesus. So I'm saying that if you are a believer, you believe in God, you believe in the word, then you should know that God is your protector. God is your defender. I am going straight to Psalm 91. Well, before I go into that, let me first explain what an idol is. An idol is anything or anybody that you prioritize over God. An idol is something or someone that you place value over God. Someone or something that you give higher significance to over God. That is what an idol is. Even if you fear something over God, that is an idol. Because now you're beginning to sub you're beginning to submit your life to that thing out of fear. And remember the word says, submit your all to God and the enemy will flee. So if you are under the protection of God, you are actually in a higher position than the enemy. That's what it means. That's what that verse means. So if you submit yourself to God, for God says that he's going to use his wing to cover you. When the enemy sees the wing of God covering you, of course you are in a higher position than the enemy. But what we have done is, when, because pregnancy is a season, 
when we get pregnant, it's so sad that some of us run back to the foundation that God has pulled us away from. It's so, it's so, it's, I don't want to use the word, let me, I think saddening is the right word. It's saddening to see that some believing mothers still choose to idolize a pin. So I'm going to raise this pin up, it's just that my hand is... I don't know if you can see it. I had um, I'm recovering from a fractured bone. That's why there's a bandaid on it. But I'll try to raise this pin up, and I hope you can see that some of us choose to idolize this pin when we are pregnant. It's so funny how a believer who is who is familiar with God and knows that this Bible is not just a Bible. It's not just a piece of information. It is life. And Psalm 91 makes it clear that God is your protector and your defender. But you choose to allow this pain protect you. This pain protect you from the enemy when you're pregnant. I don't understand. So that's why I am bringing this to you today. That an idol is not, it's not always you making a wooden object putting it in one place of the house you know sprinkling something on it every day and you know making incantations and paying it money no if you believe that when you are pregnant this pain will expel the enemy from coming at you then you are choosing to believe that this pain is your protector and you are choosing to depend on this pain to protect you from the enemy So Psalm 91, um, I'm going to read Psalm 91 and I'm going to be so, um, I think Psalm 14, Psalm 91 verse 14. So I'm going to put this phone down there, raise it up again, my hand is already pinned. So Psalm 91 says that, verse 14, 91 verse 14 says that, God says I will save those who love me. And we protect those who acknowledge me as Lord. So when you acknowledge that God is God, you acknowledge him as Lord, then you get pregnant or choose to have this protect you instead of the one person that gave you that child. If God is your source for that child, God should be the sustenance for that child, not this thing not this pin. If I had the bigger pin, I would have used the bigger pin, but this was the only one I could get my hands on. So I'm choosing to make this video today to explain that if God gave you that child, trust God to keep that child. You know, sometimes we always claim that we have faith in God, we have faith in God, but when we compromise, even to the slightest of things, we are compromising our faith. So when you are in, in that season of pregnancy and you pick up this thing, the moment you pick up this thing, to say that this thing will expel the enemy from coming at you, then you are choosing to make this thing your protector and your defender over who God is. So I'm just going to say that Go back to God. Make sure your foundation is strong. Make sure your root is strong. Because if your foundation is strong in Christ, you won't have to depend on this thing for protection. I, uh, I don't know if there's any other thing, but I believe that there are other seasons that some of us still have that mindset. One thing we need to understand is as a believer, the moment you, you, you accept Christ, the moment you are living, because as a believer, you're no longer living your life. You're not living the life of Jesus through you. So if you are living the life of Jesus through you, don't you trust that every bondage that has held you, every tradition that has held you, will be broken? But some of us still choose to remain in it because we have registered in our mind that that is how it is supposed to be. I know there are other seasons that some of us still do things because that is the well, that is how the ancestors, I'll call them ancestors because they are made by men. These things, this putting pain, doing this, they were made by men. They were made by men. 
and the person that actually instigated this thing i'm sure is not alive but you are still choosing to believe in it so i just thought to make that to make this video and i really pray and i hope that god through the holy spirit will give us the grace to come to him and to be genuinely in love with him that we would do things with, with him or for him out of love not out of fear not out of fear because mind you you putting this pain to protect you you are doing it out of fear because you are scared that if you don't do this something bad will happen to your baby that is exactly what you are saying so I just thought to share again, it's just something that I was having a conversation with in my mind while I was in church and I thought to share it. So I don't I don't know if there's any other thing I can add. It's not like oh I planned it. This is just like what I was just discussing with my mind and I thought to share it. So that is all and um just read Psalm 91. Psalm 91 is the word that you should live by. When you need a protector, when you need a defender, Psalm 91 is where you can run to, not this pain. So that is all for today. I wish you all a happy Sunday. And um, I'm making a video on this Sunday, so I don't know when I'll post it, but happy Sunday. And yes, so God is your defender. God is your protector. If God gives you something, God should be the one to sustain that thing. You've poured out your spirit on every heart. You've sent forth your word, and it's come to pass. What our fathers and mothers could only foretaste is now in our lifetime. Beyond.